Today marks the 8th anniversary of the mass abduction of schoolgirls in Chibok town, which brought the once obscure Bruno State community to global attention. On the night of that day, Boko Haram terrorists invaded the government uh, secondary school, Chibok, and abducted a total of 276 schoolgirls from their dormitory. Despite the copious promises made by the government to do everything within its power to secure the release of the girls, nothing tangible seems to have happened eight years after, as about 100 of them are still missing. Joining us on the news at this, uh, to discuss issues concerning uh, the Chibo girls is Sesug Akume, member of the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls Strategic Movement. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Good evening. Eight years after these girls were kidnapped, so many of them are still held captive. What's your take on this? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. The government should tell us what is going on because we don't know what is going on. Today has been eight years since the abduction of 276 school girls. 109 of them remain missing. And abductions keep going on every day and kidnaps. And there's more insecurity today than it was eight years ago. So I honestly can't answer what is going on. The government should answer that for us. Um, are, are you in contact with any of the parents? Yes, we are in contact with the, with the parents, and they don't know what is going on either. The government does not speak to them, does not address them, does not answer any of their concerns. It only gives issues out, people's statements on the 14th of April every year, and goes to sleep till the 14th of April the next year, and that's all. Okay. Um, do you know of any go-between between these parents and the government? Are there go-betweens? Do you speak with such go-betweens? Um, we're, not, we're not aware of any go-betweens. We only get the information directly from the parents and also whenever the government releases the information in, in the media. That's, that's it. We don't know about any go-betweens. Because if there were any information, we would have known because we're in touch with the parents, we're in touch with the, with the Kibaku Area Development Association, that's the Chibok community, and so forth, that we work together. So if there were any developments or anything at all, we would have known. But there's nothing at all, not, not anything the government is saying. It, it is, the government itself hasn't said it said anything. So that's where we are, just where we were last year, essentially. You sound very distraught. I feel very frustrated and, and disappointed and, and angry at the same time. Nobody anticipated that eight years on, we'll still be talking about the same thing. Remember that when the abduction happened, it was something that it was possible to have rescued them within a week, within days, but the government then was, was um, dragging its feet and deceiving itself and deceiving others, and the thing kept going on. And then the, that government left and a new one came and came with a, a bundle of incompetence, like my colleague spoke earlier, um, the person who spoke to earlier said, a bundle of incompetence, worse than the last um, regime. And so that is from being one bumbling start to the other. We, we, yeah, yeah we, we give kudos to them because within this time, 100 and, 110 have come back from 2016 to now, which is something because before then, not one was came back and he also fertilized the idea that there was no such thing as cheaper girls and there was no uh, abduction or so but we have 110 of them back and 109 remain missing today including others that were abducted in the process like Leah Sharibu and others who are still in captivity. Thank you for mentioning Leah Sharibu. Um, what, what are your recommendations um, for rescuing or to rescue her? The, 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 Leah, Leah Sharibu is not any different from our Chibok girls or the other people in captivity. Mm. The only difference between Leah Sharibu and any other person is because yeah. Leah Sharibu remains in captivity on account of her faith. Mm -hmm. The others had nothing to do with their faith. They were just abducted in their schools and so forth. But for Leah Sharibu, every other person was returned 
Lea Sharibu was not returned on account of her faith. That, that, so anything that will bring Lea Sharibu back will bring back the Chibo girls and would bring back the other people who are abducted. There are so Absolutely. many. There are health, there are health workers. There are, there are health workers. There are humanitarian workers who are in captivity too and so forth. And, and so forth. I mean, just um, recently there have been abductions too. We have a messed up security system that, that gives room to, um, for the abductions to happen. We have a failure of governance problem that has to be fixed. And, and these are the core issues that led to the abduction in the first place and lead to their being um, continually in captivity to this day. And for continual and continuous abductions to keep on happening. The schools are not safe either. The Safe Schools Initiative, which was designed to make schools in Nigeria safe, failed. It failed in Nigeria because we have an incompetent and insincere government. That's just it. And so, from not just in the Northeast, or not just in, in Northern Nigeria, down to the, the, to the Eastern Nigeria and everywhere else, everywhere is unsafe. And children are now wondering whether to be in school or to be safe. Children should never be put in that kind of a position for any reason. Well, what's your next line of action? What are you planning to do or um, advise the parents to do? That's my last question to you. Today, we're going to be outlining whatever next we're going to be doing because today is um, the eighth year of the abduction. Earlier today, we had we commemorated the, ab the abduction, the eighth year, and also held the sixth annual Chibok Girls Lecture uh, and so forth, and had discussion to the public and so on. And um, that, that's what um, happened today. And any other steps we're going to be taking further will be communicated in due course. Thank you very much for your time. Carry us along, please, as we roll out your next lines of action. We'll do that. Thank you very much. And we, we sincerely wish them a safe return. Indeed. We cannot see speedy return anymore. Thank you for your time. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.